It's too late now to turn around and back again. Hey guys, what's up? My name's Kayla from Planning with Kay, and welcome to another video. Believe it or not, but it is July already. We are officially halfway done with the year 2021, and I'm back today with my July bullet journal plan with me video. I hope you all had a wonderful last month and that you're having a great start to July. June was actually a very busy and exciting month over here because we were moving. My husband, Jake, and I are still in Portland. We just moved apartments at the beginning of June. But what's really exciting is that we have actually moved the entire Planning with K business out of our apartment for the very first time. And we officially have our own office slash studio space that we're renting. This has been a long time coming. We've been dreaming of getting a separate office space for a really long time now. And honestly, I'm still kind of shocked that it's finally a reality. It's a trip to actually go into work after more than three years of working exclusively from home. And it's just been really incredible so far. Don't get me wrong, I loved working from home as long as we did, but at a certain point when your living space and your workspace are one in the same, it's really hard to find that balance and be able to turn off your work brain when you're trying to relax. And likewise, it can be equally hard to fully concentrate on work when you have all those distractions of home all around you. So it's been a really needed breath of fresh air, finally having some more work-life balance and separation. Now when I'm at work, I feel so productive and motivated and in the zone with it. And then when I go home at the end of the day, I'm able to actually unwind and relax and turn off that work brain side of things a little bit. And yeah, it's just been a really fun transition really exciting. We're still working to get this new space all fully decorated and set up. It's definitely getting there, but when everything is all set up and ready to go, I am definitely going to be doing an office slash studio tour video for you guys. This new space also means that we can start looking into hiring an employee or two to help with the manufacturing, packaging, shipping side of things, which is something we've needed for a really long time. And once we get all of that in place, it means that your sticker orders and your Patreon rewards and all of that should be able to ship out a lot faster. So yeah, lots of really amazing, fun, exciting changes and improvements happening right now. And I'm just really excited to see how the journey progresses through the rest of this year and to share that journey with you all. So because the last couple months have been so insanely busy with all of the moving and all of that, I didn't want to add the extra workload of having to design an entire new sticker collection from scratch like I'd normally do. So instead, I decided to revisit an older theme of mine that I did exactly three years ago in July of 2018, and that is my peony theme. Now, I know that this is a fan favorite sticker collection. To this day, I see so many of you using that original peony sticker collection in your own bullet journals. So I wanted to do a fresh take on it three years later and redesign that original sticker collection for this month. I let my patrons over on patreon.com slash planning with K choose the new color scheme for this redesign and they overwhelmingly wanted a purple peony collection. So that's exactly what I went with. Here you can see a few snippets of that redesign process. This footage here is pulled straight from some of the Patreon live streams where I was working on this. We ended up changing the colors to purple with some yellow accents. I totally redesigned one of the sticker sheets from the original collection to more reflect my current style. And this is the theme that I'm gonna be using for my July monthly bullet journal spreads. So the sticker collection isn't yet publicly available for purchase in my shop because I first have to ship it out to all of my June patrons who get exclusive first access to my new stickers, but it will be listed for purchase sometime later this month. And as usual, I'll update y'all when it becomes available on all of my various social media platforms. And I also have an email newsletter you can sign up for if you wanna be notified of any new releases that way. And I'll have that linked down below. If you haven't seen the original Peony collection, which is more of a classic like pinkish red color scheme, 
that is available in my shop. So I'll link that whole collection down in the description just in case you want to check out those stickers. And I'll also link the original Peony July 2018 Plan With Me video. All right, so as usual, I'm starting my monthly bullet journal setup with a decorative cover spread just to serve as a fun transition between months. I love using these cover spreads as a more detailed creative outlet. It's really a chance for me to just create art for art's sake in my journal without any sort of functional purpose. And especially for this theme, I knew that I wanted to use this spread as an excuse to do a bunch of peony doodles. Drawing flowers is always so relaxing and fun for me. Flowers are one of the first things that I learned how to draw when I started bullet journaling. And still to this day, they're a go-to for me whenever I want to do something creative but don't know exactly what to draw. So this cover spread was seriously so much fun. Y'all know that I love using watercolor in my journal, so I decided to do a big diagonal watercolor splash behind all these peonies leaving the flowers mostly in white with just some very light purple shading so that they really pop off of that bright purple and magenta watercolor background. I truly couldn't be happier with how this whole cover spread illustration ended up turning out, and I especially am in love with the colors throughout this entire setup. I feel like it's been a long, long time since I did anything with this much purple, and it's just really hitting different this month. I'm absolutely loving it, and looking through all of these bright purple spreads makes me pretty dang happy. I'm using the Kuratake Gonzai Tombi watercolor set, by the way, and the colors I used this month are as follows. There's a dark purple, number 139, a dark bluish purple, which is number 38, a pastel purple, number 13, a dark magenta, number 37, a pastel pink, number 14, and then just for the little yellow and green details, I used numbers 43 and 52. And if you're wondering about any of the other supplies that I'm using throughout this video, I'll have a full supply list with all of the links down in the description below. So besides the main peony illustration, I'm finishing this spread off with a July 2021 title and a quote in the bottom right, doing all of my lettering with a combination of watercolor and my trusty Black Tombow Fudenosuke hard tip brush pen. As usual, I was live streaming on Patreon while I was setting this spread up, so I was able to get quote suggestions from my patrons, and the winning quote for this spread came from my patron, Cherie. So thank you so much, Cherie, for suggesting this quote, which reads, where flowers bloom, so does love, which was just a perfect fit for this theme. All right, so with that cover spread all done, I got all those creative juices flowing, I got my hands and my brain warmed up, so it's time to jump into the rest of my monthly setup, starting off with my very important July calendar spread. If you've been following me for any period of time, you probably know that I love me a good Dutch door, so I'm gonna do a little Dutch door sidebar for this spread by cutting off the right seven most spaces. And this just creates a little vertical space that's gonna be visible for this calendar spread, as well as for the following spread. I'm using those same watercolors to paint in a big watercolor splash over that entire sidebar. And when I'm painting this close to the edge of the page, once I've laid down all the paint in, I like to make sure I use paper clips to clip down the edges until it's completely dry and that's gonna prevent the page from curling up or warping in any weird way, which is always a very useful thing to do if you're using watercolor in your journal. 
So I'm sticking in a giant peony header sticker right on top from the purple peony monthly kit. This is where I'm eventually gonna write in my July header. But before I do that, I'm gonna first draw out my calendar. So each day here is getting a box that is six spaces wide by five spaces tall, which is gonna take up basically the rest of the spread. And I'm also separating the top row of each week as a separate spot to write in all of my dates. Now that the sidebar is all dry, I'm also gonna stick in this big monthly overview sticker. This is actually a part of the June $30 tier Patreon only sheet, which isn't available for purchase anywhere, but the digital download version of that sticker sheet is posted under the $30 Patreon tier, along with the rest of the digital sticker collections from the last couple years. I always post the digital sticker collections to my top Patreon tiers, and those stay posted there forever. So when you sign up for Patreon, you actually gain access to that entire library of digital content, which includes 20 themed sticker collections, as well as hundreds of Patreon exclusive printable journal pages like calendars, weekly spreads, mood trackers, and decorative pages. So that's always something to keep in mind if you are ever considering joining the Patreon fam. After coloring in my date rows with my watercolors, I'm now going to write in that July header at the top of the page using my Tombow Fudenosuke hard tip brush pen again, along with a white gel pen just to make it pop a little bit more with a bright white drop shadow. Next up, I got to put in both the days of the week and the dates on my calendar. The daily headers I'm using are from the monthly kit, and these number stickers are also from that matching Patreon-only sheet. And I just really love the little pop of yellow that these number stickers added to this calendar. I kind of wish I would have leaned into the yellow a little bit more with these spreads, because I really love the contrast between the yellow and the purple. When I ended up creating the $1 Patreon printables to match this theme, I made yellow a much more prominent part of the color scheme, and I'm really obsessed with how those ended up turning out. So if I were to do this setup over again, I think I'd probably try and throw some more yellow in here and there, because I really am a big fan of that purple-yellow combo. So after throwing in a quick to-do list in the upper right using a header sticker and a checklist sticker from the freebie sheet that comes with all of my shop orders, that is it for my main July calendar spread and on to the next. So you can see here how that sidebar is still visible on this Dutch door spread. So this is gonna be an extension of my monthly overview and it's gonna include a tracker for all my monthly bills alongside a monthly brain dump section that I'm calling my garden of thoughts to play into this floral theme that we got going on. I'm using both of the banners from the monthly kit functional add-on sheet on the top of the spread and I'm just writing in my headers right over top. My bill schedule is always a very important part of my journal setup every month between the business and all of our personal bills, I have about 30 different payments to keep track of every month. So without this, I would absolutely not be able to keep all of that in order. It pretty much always looks the same. I use a number strip to label the dates along the left. I then always draw in a little separating line between each week, and I'll then just write in my bills next to their due dates. And I'll highlight each bill once it's been paid, and that just gives me a really easy at a glance summary of what bills are due each week. For my garden of thoughts, I'm creating three different boxes for my three brain dump categories. I really love this little cutout technique that I did with the peonies poking out from the corner of each box. And I'm then gonna label my categories, which this month are ideas, content, and other. And that's it for my monthly overview spreads. We got a calendar, a bill schedule, and a brain dump. So let's move on to the next spread in my July bullet journal setup. So now it's time to set up my daily review, my mood tracker, and my gratitude log for the month. Three components that I always like to include as a part of my bullet journal setups as a great way to keep record of everything that happens throughout the month. 
The left page is going to be my daily review, which this month is going to include a small space to jot down just a very brief summary of each day and a very simple mood tracker. This gradient number strip that I'm using is from that functional add-on sheet again, and I'm using the rest of those circle lists from the freebie sheet, just as little circles to fill in to track my mood each day. I'm including a color code in the bottom right as well for my moods, and as usual, I'm keeping it really simple, just four different colors with the darkest purple being the worst mood and the lightest purple being the best mood. Now, I'm not gonna lie, when I first started bullet journaling and noticed that people tracked their mood, I didn't really entirely get the point of it, but the last couple of years especially, I've personally found mood tracking to actually be really useful when I'm reflecting back on the month. I like to read through these summary type pages after the month is over, just to remind myself of how that month went. And if I notice that my moods are all over the place throughout a certain month, it's usually a sign that I need to try to identify what's been stressing me out or making my mood fluctuate so much and try to make some positive changes to help myself out. Now here on the right page, I'm gonna create what I'd normally call my gratitude log, but this month I'm titling it Memories, which for me is basically the same thing. My gratitude log is usually just a collection of positive memories from the month. So I'm creating this memory log in a similar way to past months by painting in some watercolor splash boxes in varying shapes and sizes. And I'll fill these in gradually throughout the month with any nice memories, events, or happenings that I want to highlight separately from my one line a day daily summary section. I think that I also want to expand on this next month and maybe do like a full spread for memories, not only with sections like this to write down my memories, but also some extra room to stick in pictures from that month. I know a whole bunch of people already do this. I have a Facebook group for my patrons where they can share their spreads with each other. And a few of them consistently do these photo memory spreads every month. And I always love how they end up turning out and seeing those filled up pages of pictures. I think it's such a fun way to use your journal almost like a scrapbook photo album. So I kind of gave this a test run not too long ago. Last month, right after we moved, we went on a little road trip. So I created a memory spread about our road trip and I printed out some pictures on sticker paper that I stuck in to make a little collage and I jotted down some highlights from the trip and I absolutely love how that turned out. So I think next month I'm gonna do something like that but for the entire month and basically just have it be like a gratitude log, memory log, photo collage combo spread to pair along with my normal daily review and mood tracker page. So we'll see how that goes. Hopefully I remember to try that out for my August setup. And of course, if I do, then you'll see me setting it all up in my next plan with me video. Moving right along, I'm now going to create a quick little calendar for my monthly live stream schedule. It's always useful for me to have this separate for my main monthly calendar so that way I can super easily see at a glance if I have any live streams coming up. I feel like something like this would also be really useful for things like work schedules, school due dates, workout schedules, anything else that requires a little bit more deliberate attention for you to get it done. I'm using this dated July calendar from my shop. I have these available for the entire year as well as some blank versions and they make single page calendars like this a real breeze to set up. I'm using some more watercolor on top of the calendar as a little background for my weekly headers and I'm also sticking in this washi strip from the monthly kit on top of that. These washi strips by the way are one of my favorite additions to this monthly kit's redesign. I only started making these washi stickers fairly recently. I think the first one I ever made was for my baking theme in September of last year. And since then, I haven't been able to give them up. I absolutely love them. They're so useful and they've been showing up in my monthly kits more and more as time goes on. So when I decided I was gonna be doing a redesign of this collection, I instantly knew that I wanted to add some peony washi strips and that those were gonna have to make an appearance. And I have absolutely zero regrets about that. 
So now, of course, I have to create a header. First, I'm doing some watercolor lettering at the top, just painting in the word live stream in some simple uppercase print using all those same beautiful pink and purple watercolors. And then I'm gonna lay in some whiteout tape over the washi strip as a blank spot to write in the word schedule. And that's it for this page's header. Finally, I'm gonna finish this page off with some extra peony decoration at the bottom of my calendar. I was really inspired by the corner cutout technique that I did for my brain dump earlier, where the peonies looked like they were coming out from behind the boxes. So I did a similar thing here, cutting the peony stickers to appear as if they're coming out from behind the bottom of my calendar. And I'm so happy with how all of that turned out. On the opposite page, I'm gonna set up my monthly playlist, which for me is a spot to keep track of the movies, books, and music that I'm consuming throughout the month. While I'm setting this up, I'm gonna go ahead and mention some of the highlights from my June playlist page. And June was definitely a movie month. I watched a lot of good movies, and I'll just mention a couple of my favorites. First off, I watched the new Disney movie, Cruella, which is the Cruella de Vil origin story starring Emma Stone, and I absolutely loved it. It reminded me a lot of Devil Wears Prada, both in the fashion-related subject matter, as well as the character personalities. So if you like Devil Wears Prada, I think you will really enjoy Cruella. Another favorite movie from this month is I Love You, Philip Morris, which is a dark comedy starring Jim Carrey and Ewan McGregor, two actors that I absolutely love. And I really just can't believe I haven't seen this movie before. It was so good. It's the really bizarre true story of Stephen J. Russell, played by Jim Carrey, who's this con man who gets sent to prison for fraud and ends up meeting the love of his life in prison, who's another inmate named Philip Morris, played by Ewan McGregor. And it's basically this long story of how Stephen will do anything to be with his love, Philip, including a whole slew of cons and schemes. And he escaped prison four separate times. True story. And it really is just such a fascinating tale and a really great movie. Finally, I just want to mention that throughout all of June and now into July, I am still listening to the audiobook for It by Stephen King, which is the classic scary tale of the town of Derry and Pennywise the Clown. And I am loving it so much. It is a very long book, which is why it's taking me quite a while to finish it. But I'm more than halfway through with it and totally hooked. And it's definitely solidifying my love for Stephen King novels. If you have any favorite movies or books from last month as well, definitely drop those in the comments below. I'm personally always on the hunt for a good movie and book, so I would love to know what you guys have been watching, reading, or listening to. All right, so with that spread done, that is the last of my monthly bullet journal spreads, and I'm going to finish this video off by setting up a weekly spread for the first full week of July. I'm starting off by creating a row for each day of the week on the right page. Each day gets a row that is five spaces tall, and I'm splitting those rows into three separate sections. One for any bills that are due that day, one for any live streams that are happening that day, and finally, a larger space for any to-do list items for those days. I'm labeling the days of the week by overlapping some peony stickers with those purple weekly headers, all from the second page of the new peony monthly kit. And it was at this point that I remembered that I had some purple date stickers from Journal with Kate that would match this spread way too perfectly. So I busted those out to label my dates here. You can find Kate's shop at etsy.com slash shop slash stick with Kate. Her Instagram is journal with Kate and I'll link all of her info down in the description. She has a really amazing sticker shop that I know y'all would really love. So please do go check out her shop and her Instagram if you have a chance. So I laid in a washi strip sticker to the left of those daily sections as a little divider, and I'm then finishing the right half of the spread by labeling my sections at the top with their respective headers. Take me 
After using my watercolors to letter in the main header for July 5th through 11th, I'm creating a simple little weekly task list on the left for any non-day specific tasks. And after that, I'm gonna finish this weekly spread off with a little decorative bit at the bottom, including a watercolor splash with a peony sticker over top, and a little two-word decorative quote that says, love blooms, tying it all back to that cover spread quote, which said, where flowers bloom, so does love. I thought that was a really nice way to end this setup and round it all out. I'd also love to hear what themes y'all are using for your July spreads, so let me know in the comments down below. You can also always tag me in your spreads on Instagram if you want me to see them. I'm always checking my tagged photos and I love seeing all of your incredible bullet journal creations. So don't be shy, tag me, message me, send me your spreads in whatever way you want. And I'm always happy to see them. I'm also gonna be posting a theme poll on my Patreon pretty soon for my August theme. All of my patrons, $1 and up, get to vote on my themes each month. And I really wanna do something sort of like back to school inspired since it's been a while since I've done anything like that. So I think I'm gonna put a stationary theme on the poll, maybe like a coffee cafe theme, maybe even like a reading or book theme since I'm a big bookworm now. I'll try to think of some other back to school-esque themes. And if you have any ideas for me, definitely feel free to drop those down in the comments as well. And with that, that's it for my July bullet journal setup. I'm so happy with how all of these spreads have turned out. And since July has already begun, I can say that I've really enjoyed using these so far. Again, this purple peony sticker collection will be available in my sticker shop sometime later this month, as soon as I finish shipping it out to my June $15 and up patrons. But the original peony collection is available in case you're interested in that. And I'll have that linked in the description below along with everything else that I mentioned today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and my setup. Don't forget to give it a like if you did and subscribe down below if you wanna be sure to see all of my future uploads. The links to my shop, Patreon, and all other social media is all down in the description below. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. When I'm